I am your host, the man they call Ghost, and I want to thank you very much for tuning in with me. This is episode number 718, episode number 718 for all the folks that are keeping track of the True Capitalist radio broadcast. And before we get into anything else, I'd like to ask everybody to please spread this show across the internets and throughout the world. And let everybody you know, let them all know that the True Capitalist Radio broadcast is in effect and in the house. It is episode number 718. And if you could please excuse the voice a little bit, folks. I've been going 100 miles an hour ever since the last ghost show, which was almost 10 hours, by the way. And uh, I was on the... uh, True Capitalist Radio member chat yesterday for about five or six hours uh, covering the debates, uh, which we're going to talk about here shortly. Uh, But uh, I'm going to go ahead and start off by discussing a little bit about the markets. How about that? Put the PC shot on, folks. Hold on. Before I get to the PC shot on, I got to adjust some display settings for a second. Before you people start saying boomer versus tech, let me get that done out of the way right now. All right, we go ahead and do that. Put the PC shot on, folks. Let's go ahead and do this. I'd buy that for a dollar. My toilet makes the same sounds as your intro song. Well, that's great. All right. I don't know what the hell the problem is there, Menno Ray. Uh, But, folks, today we had a very interesting thing that happened in the market today because... And then we ended up in the positive, all right? And uh, the big one, Noob, uh, Buenos Tardes, Mr. Fat. Thank you for your participation and helping pass the Patriot Act. That was a rumble rant, by the way. And uh, Camaro RS09, hey, Ghost, I hope you're doing fine. That sticks situation was disturbing to see. Well, I don't really want to make a comment on that. I was a little disturbed by it as well, but uh, hey. You know, it is what it is. And I want to say what's up to everybody in the True Capitalist Radio member chat. We have finally fixed the situation when it comes to the chat box on the bottom left of the screen. So cheers to everybody in there, man. Uh, But let's take a look at the markets here. Once again, CPI inflation data comes out at about 2.5%. The financials here, and then we're going to go ahead and get to it. And uh, what is this? JSEF started at a negative and ended at a positive. Is that a personal... Dude, shut up, JSEV, all right? But anyway, the Dow... Excuse me, the NASDAQ closed out today at 17395 And as you can see from the last time we were talking... I'd buy that for a dollar. What the hell did you say? Uh, what was the price point you should shit yourself for... Con- dude, shut up, all right? If you're going to say something on text-to-speech, say something positive, and I don't mean HIV positive, all right? But anyway, take a look at the Bitcoin price right now, $57,411. I mean, look, folks, I I personally believe that once they start pulling the, uh, when it was around these levels here, but take a look at Cardano, okay? ADA is the symbol. I'd buy that for a dollar. Your HIV, AIDS burger. Dude, don't call me, don't call me AIDS burger, all right? All right, that was some stupid meme that you idiots made in the last ghost show, and I don't want to talk about it. That's not funny. All right, but anyway, I would take a look at Cardano, and the reason I'm saying it is because they just adapted a new governance program amongst their community, and I think it might be a very short-term spike here in the next... I'd buy that. Oh, God. Are you kidding me? We'd like to inform you the burger you ate contained AIDS blood in the ketchup. AIDS piss in the mustard, and AIDS come in the mayo. Can y'all we cut are sorry this crap to say out, you are please? likely HIV positive now. That's why we are closed down. Sorry for the inconvenience. All right, dude, that's enough of this AIDS burger <laughs> crap. That that's dollar. enough. Here's a joke, Mr. AIDS burger. Who are the fastest readers? 9-11 victims. Oh, they went you through 89 idiot. stories in only 10 seconds. You macabre piece of shit. You macabre jerk. Look, all right, I'm trying to give you guys a little 411 on some potential money plays here on Cardano. Uh, the first sports, or I shouldn't call it a sports card, <laughs> but a trading a card. At what price point would you shit yourself for oh, content? Jesus Christ, I'm not acknowledging that. Serious question, by the way. Listen, the first uh, trading card that we're going to give out has I'd come in. For a dollar. Oh, Jesus. Why were the people inside the Twin Towers upset? 
They ordered pepperoni pizza and all they got was two planes. Dude, uh, what the fuck kind of people are you that you're going to make that kind of sick-ass macabre joke on this day? <laughs> I'd buy that I mean, a seriously. A law firm in one of the Twin Towers ordered a pepperoni pizza, but all they got was a pizza. Look, look, listen. I'm going to end the show, dude. If y'all are going to be making fun of 9-11 and or calling me AIDS burger. All right? This is going to be a very short show. I'm not fucking joking around. So cut the crap. Jesus Christ, man. Anyway, once again, thank you to Duke Orville. And uh, the trading cards, the first trading card for this month has come in, and I'm going to mail them to all the True Capitalist Radio members exclusively. All right? And that's another perk of being a part of the True Capitalist Radio membership. A sign. I'd buy that for a dollar. A sign. I'll get to you in a minute, President Jay. Aside from exclusive uh, events like we had last night with the coverage of the debate, you also are going to get a exclusive trading card of, it's not just yours truly, characters of the show. It's going to be fucking awesome. Hey, fuck you, age trading cards. Shut up. Jesus Christ. And by the way, let me uh, honor j -Sav. He said, uh, started out as a negative, ended up as a positive. Is that your personal story? Yeah, fuck you, asshole. Excuse my French for talking that crap. And by the way, uh, President Jay, I'll get to your link in a second. But let's make a transition. No pun intended, by the way. And let's talk about the presidential debates last night. Now... I know out there in MAGA world, everybody and their brother, he looked very shook. He didn't stare. <laughs> oh, I'd Jesus. Rock ape! On September 11th, 2001, I was in geometry class. On that day, we learned you can remove one side of a pentagon by intersecting it with a plane. Oh, you fucking pieces of shit. Listen, if y'all are going to continue these text-to-speeches, I'm going to get the hell out of here. I'm not joking around. I'M NOT PUTTING UP WITH THIS CRAP ON 9-11! Jesus Christ. All right, anyway, as I was stating, Trump didn't look very well. He didn't look very good. And by the way, if you had a drinking game, every time that he mentioned immigrants, migrants, didn't take donors' money, by the way, now he's selling himself out to whoever gives him a few bucks, this is a vast contrast from the Trump today. I'd buy that for a Oh, dollar. Jesus. Hold on. This is an audio file, folks. What the hell? Oh, my God. Somebody made a fucking AI song about United 93. That was the plane that went down in Shanksville, right? Nineteen ninety three, verify your flight level. Three five zero. Are you kidding me? Nineteen ninety three, verify your level. Three five zero. I'm sorry, we're listening to this. I'm sorry. Oh, and here's my gay sexual Did harasser. Did you know the nine eleven victims were fast readers? They could go through. Can y'all stop seven saying that fucking lame joke already? That's the third time I've heard it. I'd buy Jesus that Christ! Genders used to be like the twin towers. There were two of them until the got involved oh dude fuck you hey aclu i didn't say that that was fucking kirk johnson all right the wiesenthal association that was fucking kirk johnson <laughs> all right buy that for a dollar <laughs> jesus christ anyway and i'll get to turkey taters in a minute we got valentine broadcasting with a rumble rant uh did you see the u.s announced 700 million in aid uh, for UK's energy grid. What the fuck? Doesn't the cartel have I'd enough? Buy that for a dollar. Well, you know, we could all view things in a different capacity. Uh, hold on just a second. I gotta, I gotta stop this. We're getting a lot of buy me a coffees here. And uh, for whatever reason, buy me a coffee doesn't instantly update anymore. I, I think that's fucking lame and it's horrible. But let me get to uh, President Jay. President Jay said, did you see the great news? This is not AI. This is a real photo. And uh, are you talking about the fireman that convinced 
Joe Biden to wear a Trump hat. Is that what you're going to do? Yeah, I guess it, of course it is. Put the PC <laughs> shot on. I'd buy that there it is. <laughs> and now we got Mr. Nguyen. I watch stupid debate, G.I. Why all fat men have bad takes. G.I. is retarded. That why Hambone vote Trump 2016. Trump equals geriatric. Maybe Trump is Hambone's husband. Fuck oh, you, G.I. Come Jane. on. All right. Also That's enough. Bust in the to crash into That's towers, enough, Mr. Nguyen. That's enough, all right? Jesus Christ. And uh, here we have, uh, I don't know, who <laughs> convinced them. for a dollar. <laughs> and wait, we got Mega Max with four beers, for Christ's sake. Hold on there, Mega Max, all right? And uh, Feminist Socialist uh, with the Rumble Rant said he did it on purpose to get back at the Democrats. I don't know. I just think that they convinced him. You know, he, he's got nothing to lose. He doesn't care. He's out there visiting... You know, he's out there doing his stay a thing. So anyway, that was courtesy of President Jay, all right? And uh, Turkey Tater said, uh, Ghost is now confirmed to be a liberal Russian shill. Type L in the chat if you think he's a shill. First of all, Turkey Taters, I hate Russia. I mean, that's the whole reason why I'm not, well, one of the many reasons, but the main reason why I'm not pro-Trump, because Trump is a damn Russian simp. And I hate Russia. Why? Because we have been dealing with these people ever since the fall of the USSR, and it's the same shit! At the World Trade Center restaurant, they offered three seating areas. Oh, smoking, God. non-smoking, and burned beyond recognition. Dude, let me tell you something. If y'all are going to continue with these sick-ass 9-11 jokes, and y'all are going to do... I'm going to have to end this show. I am not going to allow you people to desecrate the memory of those poor people that perished on that day. So I, I, let me tell you something. You people need to calm the hell down if you want me to continue with this damn show. I can tell you that right goddamn now. Jesus Christ. Anyway, as I was stating, didn't look good for Trump. All right? And I know many of you maggotards are going to be saying that, oh, you know, you're you're a shill. Or, he I looked horrible. He looked horrible. And Chaser Bibbs, I would call this a good day, but it's good to see you. Or you wouldn't call this a good day, but it's good to see you. I'd buy that for a oh, dollar. Oh, great. Arn Hammond. The towers went down faster than you did on Urinator at Luther's. Uh, dude, listen to me. I'm going to end this fucking show. Shut up. Enough of this crap! Shut the fuck up! Jesus Christ. Anyway, Chaser Bibbs with a rumble rad. I hope you're doing well, and the debate was the greatest form of entertainment where you can't find the greatest morons. Well, let me tell you, it, it the debate wasn't the greatest I've ever seen. Let's put it that way, all right? And trolling the interwebs, it didn't look good for Harris either. Trump just looked worse. Now, that's what I'm telling you, trolling the interwebs, all right? I don't know who the d hell that Trump was last night. He, uh, I got that for a What? What? Hell, because Ghost is APAC salesman who inject AIDS into our burgers to spread oh, the AIDS God. burger. It started at World Trade Center and right. they melted steel beams to cover it up and give cancer to responders. What? It was actually burger AIDS and they died of it, VV. Dude, I'm sorry. We're you know for everybody that's out there that wants to hear, you know the serious conversation, the serious discussion. My apologies, man. I mean, look at these fucking people. <laughs> I'd buy that for a bit can salesman now. Have you heard of the 9/11 sex position? What? It's double penetration with lots of push involved. <sighs> oh my god. All right, listen. That's enough. All right. I want to talk about this damn debate. You macabre pieces of fucking. Dishrag whore trash. Jesus Christ. Anyway, let's take a little review. Since everybody out there thinks one way or the other, here's some of the highlights that happened in the debate so we can somewhat review them. All right, let's go ahead and do that. All right. For a dollar. And there's Denominator. What's going on, Denominator, man? We'll get to your videos once again at the Go Show which will probably be either Friday or Sunday. But I'm going to try to make it Fridays because I know that everybody likes a baller Friday go show, and I didn't do it last Friday. So we'll see. It depends on how this go this show goes, all right? 
But anyway, let's put the PC shot on and let's look together. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh god. How are Ghost and the Twin Towers similar? They both fell off years ago. Oh fuck you, man! What are you talking about? I am the underground. What are you fucking talking about, man? I'm listened to by tens of thousands of people throughout the world. So for you to sit over there and talk that crap, go fuck yourself, man. I am the underground of the internet, you piece of shit. Anyway, play this, all right? This, this right here is the Harris-Trump debate highlights. Now, right off the bat, did you see that Trump didn't even want to acknowledge Kamala Harris and didn't even want to shake her hand? Kamala Harris was the aggressor on this handshake. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. Kamala Harris, it's up good to be. Nice to see you. Fun. Thank you. Welcome to you both. It's wonderful to have you. It's enough. To attend one of Donald Trump's rallies. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, oh, here we are. I'm a shill now. How far is did the Democrats shove their playbook up or ask that her shilling for Harris now? I'm not shilling for her. I've told you all this time and time again, okay? Trump, I did not want him as the presidential nominee of the GOP. I told everybody that this is the way it was going to go. That's why Trump and all you maggotards are desperate. I mean, that silly-ass cat meme was a sense of desperation that I have never seen a political party have to go through. I mean, talk about ridiculous copium. I, it was an embarrassment that you people out there posted all these ridiculous cat memes, and that's the essence of MAGA. I'd buy that right? For a that's dollar. the essence of it. 9-11 isn't something to joke about. I find it plain disrespectful. Yeah, fuck you, snakes, all right? And Bob Filshin, it looks like Trump is pissed because he has been compromised and has to continue this campaign. That's a very good assessment there, Bob Filshin. I do agree. Uh, but once again, I just want to reiterate that Everybody out there that's in MAGA land, MAGA country, I mean, you're talking about the most amount of copium I've ever seen since Hillary Clinton. Since the fucking followers of Hillary Rotten Clinton. This idea of using cat memes and all these MAGA mouthpieces, which are now, at least most of them, being paid by Russia, were out here putting these stupid cat memes, save the cat, save the cat, cat this, cat that. It was ridiculous, man. And then all the MAGA movement is, is about, oh my God, look at we're triggering leftists because of my cat memes. Uh, the cat memes, fucking ridiculous. All right? Fucking ridiculous. And it shows an element of desperation that I have never seen in politics before since Hillary Clinton, since her fucking copium fucking group. Jesus Christ. And uh, Stooges Rule said, Ghost, I want you to know how much you support 9-11 survivor victims. I lost my dad that day, and he was the greatest pilot out of Saudi Arabia. Listen, I am not going to continue this goddamn show if this is what you're going to do. I wouldn't be surprised if you people are being paid by fucking Donald Trump and the PayPal Mafia right now. I wouldn't be surprised. Anyway, I like what Harris did here. She, she challenges people to go to a MAGA rally. Fictional characters like Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> I'd buy that for All right, dollar. what? What? 9-11 was fucking hilarious. On that day, I was laughing my ass off when I saw the second oh, tower Jesus. hit the World Trade Center. My sides were gone seeing those people fall. Based Osama uh, this is model. horrible, dude. Look, this is why I didn't stream the debates last night. Do you see why? This is why I did not stream the debates, because it would have been unwatchable. That's why, if you want you know, the kind of serious content, like you wanted to hear some actual assessments of what was going on in the debates in real time, you should join the True Capitalist Radio chat room so we don't have these stupid four-flushing troll terrorist pieces of fucking spaghetti-eating shit that are out here ruining it for everybody. All right? They're ruining it for everybody. So let's play what Kamala says about Trump here, it's all right? It's a really interesting thing to watch. You will see during the course of his rallies, he talks about fictional characters like Hannibal Lecter. Like Save the Cats, because they propagated this idea that Haitians out there in Ohio somewhere were eating people's <laughs> cats or some dollar. shit. What is the difference between 9-11 and a professional gardener? One is an outside job. 
Why did only a few people oh, laugh when Bush God. made a 9-11 joke? Because it was an inside joke. Dude, that's enough of this goddamn crap! That's enough! Anyway, put the PC shot on. This is what I'm talking about. Every one of the MAGA mouthpieces had some bullshit like this. Save our pets. You know, save the cats. Every guy, every MAGA mouthpiece, you name them, they were pushing this cat bullshit. Even Alex Dumbass Jones was pushing this crap. And I said, what kind of political strategy is this? Is this an attempt to rectify the childless cat lady remarks of J.D. Vance? This is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous. Genders are like the Twin Towers. Dot. There used to be two of them, but now it's just a sore subject. Oh, good. good. Just shut the fuck up already, all right? Now, look. Did I see that, like, body cam footage from the police officer somewhere in Ohio of some nutcase uh, woman that looked like they were eating some cat? Yeah, that, that was one time. One time I saw that. And they have now translated this into it's a happenstance out there in Ohio, which has already been debunked. And straight. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus Christ. What's worse than George Bush doing 9 11? Jeffrey Epstein doing 9 11s. Oh, you fucking sick piece of shit! Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'd buy that for Oh, a my God. We talked about Kennedy eating and being infatuated with roadkill. Now the whole MSM is talking about immigrants eating cats. Why are we going down this Kennedy sick crowd? Slash skip to November please also grid men is now grid women. Yeah, no shit. Very good point, Jatario. We went from trying to brush under the rug <laughs> that RFK dollar. has a roadkill fetish. Hold on, this is an audio file. Here's an audio file, folks. I don't know what this is. There was. I, yeah, I know. 9-11. <laughs> what the hell? You're laughing? Who's laughing at this? <laughs> fuck. <laughs> skip that shit. I'd buy you that fuck. Very much not surprised Ghost is defending these Haitian. Hey, hey. Been locals at city council meetings saying these <laughs> have been eating ducks and geese from their local pond. Oh, okay, okay. Now it goes now it goes from cats to dogs. Now it's ducks and geese. All right, so I, 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 do you see how the narrative is just all of a sudden changed? I mean, it went from all oh, they're eating pets, all oh, they're eating dogs, all oh, they're eating cats. Now they're eating ducks and geese. I mean, I, look, I'm not trying to justify Haitian people doing weird primitive shit. By any means, I'm not very big fan of Haitian immigrants, I'll be honest with you. But the running with this, thinking that this is going to gain you any kind of traction in America at this point, makes you sound like an idiot. I knew this cycle was more centrist. Why do you think Kamala Harris is trying to go a more centrist route as opposed to a progressive route? <laughs> I'd buy Jesus that Christ. Can't wait to use the newest racial slur, duck eater. Hey, you. You Haitian duck eater. Get out of the pond. Duck eater. I mean, dude, I mean, don't people go duck and geese hunting anyway? I, I just don't get... It doesn't make sense. All right? You notice how the goalposts went from, oh, they're eating our dogs and cats, and now it's, all oh, it's ducks and geese. And you see, once you start, you know the narrative starts slipping away like that, you lose credibility with the average, everyday American Joe six-pack. And Red Eyes Black Dragon, uh, just a reminder that Haitians also eat mud off the ground. Yeah, I know, mud cakes. I get it. And uh, Winston Fujimori, hello, Ghost. It's my birthday in a few weeks. As a part of an early birthday gift, can I get remodded? I will give you a remod after the show. I forgot to do it. Anyway, I promise not to be a... Uh, super chat, dark side. All right, all right, we get it. Thank you. I appreciate it, Winston. And we'll hook you up soon enough. All right. Anyway, let's go ahead and listen to the rest of this. They have abortion in the ninth month. They even have. Now, this is another ignorant statement by Trump. I want to save lives that are being uselessly people. See, this is a very abstract statement. All right. 
And if you don't want Ukraine to win, why don't you just say it instead of beating around the bush about it? I'd buy that for a dollar. What is your favorite public enemy song? Mine is 9-11 is a joke. Oh, gee. Listen, dude, I'm gonna end this fucking show if y'all don't cut the crap! Jesus Christ, you people. Anyway, as I was stating, I mean, this is just a bunch of abstract crap. Take a look at how that worked. I mean, during Obama's administration, we were laughed at by the <laughs> international community. That's... Kamala Harris lied through her teeth so much last night that I'm gonna go drive my dad. Uh, I'm not hearing that. I'm not. I'm not hearing that shit. You sick son of a bitch. Anyway, play the rest of this. Respect Biden. How would you respect him? To, why? For what reason? He hasn't even. Oh, made Jesus Christ! Mega Max, come on, man. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? What? What is this crap? Oh my god. Shut up! Shut up! Jesus Christ, man. Listen, this is going to be a short show if we're going to continue to do this, all right? This is going to be a short damn show. And Red Eyes, Black Dragon, Ghost Bang, Shaka Khan in the 80s? What the hell does that mean? Anyway, play the rest of this. I made a phone call in two years to Putin. Hasn't spoken to anybody. They don't even try and get it. That is a war that's dying to be settled. I will get it settled before I even become president. If I win, when I'm president-elect, and what I'll do is I'll speak to one, I'll speak to the other, I'll get them together. I'll speak to one, I'll speak to the other, and get them together. Why is 9-11 remembered only one day but gay pride lasts for a month? Because being is a bigger tragedy. Oh, no, 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 no. Absolutely not. Play the rest of this. That war would have never happened. And in fact, when I saw Putin after I left... To eventually do what he eventually did during the Biden administration, which is invade Ukraine. I'd buy that for a dollar. So there you go. This is the type of shit that you sip for for four years, Ghost. Now you've betrayed Trump just like you did DeSantis and sound like a Democrat. You should be ashamed. Ah, uh, just shut up. All right, you moron. All right, shut up. There's no d d betray Trump. What is Trump representing, you morons? There is no dip. What do you think Trump is going to do when he's elected president? <laughs> I mean, that seriously, you people are idiots. What were the names of the twins that died in a plane crash? Towers. What was the last thing to go through the minds of 9-11 jumpers? Their ankles. A kid in the back of the oh, class yelled Jenga. The class was watching a 9-11 documentary. All right, all right. Real funny, all right? Real fucking funny. And trolley bastard, either criticize Kamala as equally as Trump, or I'm going to assume you're a DNC. I don't give a shit what you assume, dude. All right? Why don't you take your nose out of Trump's asshole? All right? He doesn't stand for anything anymore. All he stands for is simping for Russia. That's it. What else does he stand for? He's already gone back on abortion. He's already gone back on legalizing marijuana. All right? He's not a pro-gun president. He was the first guy to infringe upon gun rights with not only the bump stock ban, but remember the statement, we go in, we take the guns, and we'll ask questions later. All right? So what fuck, what are you people holding on to when it comes to this fucking guy? He has no fiscal conservatism. He has no moral values, no moral principles whatsoever. What the fuck are you people holding on to for fuck's sake? Oh, my God, man. And you people wondered, you'll wonder why y'all are being replaced by a bunch of immigrants. I mean, when you can't come to a rational conclusion based upon the facts and evidence, it goes to show you that you people are not living in reality. You people are not living in reality. What is the New York Fireman's favorite song? T.S. Raining Men. All right. Look, I think I'm going to end this broadcast. All right. I mean, seriously. I mean, I, I get it. You know, you people are still trying to relive 2016, the meme wars and shit. It's 2024, you losers. And if the best meme that MAGA can come up with is a fucking cat meme, 
then the meme game is gone for Trump and all you meme warriors that thought that you were going to talk about the meme wars later on in the future. It's gone. It's over. If all you can do is come up with a cat meme in hopes of trying to convey other people on the sidelines to go on your fucking side, it's idiocy. It's pathetic. It's pathetic. Play the rest of this. Let, 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 let's see. This is what kind of got me a little okay with Kamala if she's going to be president. I know she's going to continue the foreign policy that has been the policy implemented by Antony Blinken. Time is up. It would, just to clarify in the question, do you believe it's in the U.S. best interest for Ukraine to win this war, yes or no? I think it's the U.S. best interest to get this war finished and f just get it done. Right. What does that mean? Negotiate a deal. What she says here... <laughs> oh, I'd Jesus buy that Christ. For a dollar. What time does a go to bed? He usually crashes at 9-11. All right, dude. W dude, I don't... Anybody who says RG in Rumble, kick him out. Kick him the fuck out. I'm not doing radio graffiti today. All right? I mean, I'm not even able to get through what I'm trying to convey here because you fucking people are probably being paid for by Russia, all right, via some mega 401c or some shit, all right, to fucking sit here and disrupt my show, all right? You people don't deserve a goddamn thing. As a matter of fact, I mean, you people are a fucking pathetic waste, with all due respect. Any one of you people that are out here trying to say that I'm the one with the problem, you need to look in the mirror because all you're doing is going for a cult of personality. There are no, the only values and the only policies that are different between Trump and Kamala are the foreign policy and tax nuances. All right? That's all there is to it. I mean, you people are holding on to something Similar to what you idiots do when it comes to your toys that you used to play with when you were a fucking stupid homosexual looking kid. All right? The same way you do with your cartoons. You know, you can't you can't let it go. You can't let it go away. All right? You gotta embrace it. You gotta you gotta obsess over it. That's exactly why we're in the position we're in. Because you people don't know how to differentiate <laughs> logic from fantasy. <laughs> Get to the part where they discuss the livable wages. This is why Europe is better than America. Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> All right, play the rest of this. This moment, but also as commander in chief, if elected. Other people don't have. He's got nuclear weapons. They don't ever talk about that. He's got nuclear uh, weapons. Who gives a Nobody shit? Nobody thinks about who that. Who gives a and shit? Eventually, uh, maybe he'll use them and maybe. Use them! Hey! But hey, they're not going to use them. And if they are, then do it. All right? I'm fucking tired of hearing from Russia, from China, oh, we're going to use our nukes. Gonna... Well, then do it! Then do it! I don't think you're going to do it! You don't have the balls! He does have that. Something we don't even like to talk about. Nobody likes to talk about it. But just so you understand, they sent her to negotiate peace before this war started. And she did. And the war started three days later. She never met Putin. <laughs> She's never met Putin! What does Drew Bledsoe and the Twin Towers have in common? They both got taken out by two jets. Ah, oh, fuck off. And that's the kind of talent we have with her. She's worse than Biden. President Trump, thank you. You did bring up something. You said she went to negotiate. Hey, hold on, trolley bastard. I can't believe uh, people listen to TCR openly anymore because I don't want people thinking I'm watching liberal news. Then don't listen! All right, trolley bastard? Go suck Trump's cock, all right? All right, you have no values, you have no fucking moral principle, you have no fiscal conservative views. The whole reason why I want Trump to lose is because not only do I want Trump gone from the GOP, I want the Freedom Caucus gone, I want all these pro-MAGA idiots gone, so that those of us that are still Republicans, those of us that have values will take over the goddamn party and assert some values and some fucking uh, new policies to our platform. All right, we're going to take control of the Republican Party once these maggotards are un unelected, once they're no longer in power. I mean, seriously, I mean, half the people that are in the parliament in Australia, I wouldn't be surprised if they <laughs> fuck dogs, all right? That for a dollar. What is it? Will you serve as my schmeckle? Oh, Jesus Christ. With Vladimir Putin. Vice right. President Harris, have you ever met Vladimir Putin? Can you clarify tonight? Uh, yet again, I said it at the beginning of this debate, you're going to hear a bunch of lies coming from this fellow. And that is another one. 
Oh. And that is very much what is at stake here. <laughs> right, uh, Jesus Christ, now. what? We appreciate your interest in our campaigns and we thank you for your support of our oh, President Jesus Kamala Harris. Jesus Christ. All right. Jesus Christ. And Five Figure Prostate Punch, how is this any different to the bullshit uh, in U.S. politics at the moment? Well, I mean, I can still talk shit about my leaders and not get vanned or get, get, you know, I didn't have to take a vax, you know, and get put into some concentration camp or whatever the hell you fucking people did over there in Australia. All right. So come on, Maine. The president of the United States is commander in chief. We've got to lock him up for Christ's sake. And what is this? Five finger prostate punch. Is this the same as you say during the shows banning people that fact check? Nobody fact checks me, five finger prostate punch, all right? All I have is a bunch of troll terrorist cuckold connoisseurs that are flapping their fat Cheeto stained fingers on a keyboard thinking they're talking shit, all right? So shut up. But once again, all right, MAGA mouthpieces talking about criminally charging the ABC moderators, all right? This is a shell of himself. A shell of himself. The unique thing about sex dolls is that they blow themselves up. Oh, my God. Dude, listen, I'm not going to continue to do this shit. If you people are going to do text to speeches and do this foul mouth crap. Oh, my God. All right. Anyway, once again, uh, Trump media shares are at an all time low. And uh, they're probably going to get even lower because Trump is going to—he's going to sell out. He's going to fucking sell them all. What are you, what are you talking about? All right, he's going to sell them all. Uh, put the PC shot. I'm going to acknowledge some of these. Buy me a coffees here. Uh, we have uh, turkey taters. Oh yeah, here. This is the one of my turkey taters. Hold on, wait a minute. Mega Max. A hey, yo, AIDS boy. There's a 2002 Spider-Man teaser that has a shocking detail in it. If you look carefully. When the helicopter is webbed. Well, look, I'll take a look at that one because you got me curious there, Mega Max, and I did leave you hanging on the last ghost show, so I'll I'll make an exception for you. What is this crap? Hold on, what is this? Put the PC shut on. Clint. What is this crap? Down. What am I looking at here exactly there, Mega Max? The Spider-Man trailer? The Spider-Man trailer. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain calm. Get your head down, get your head down. Uh, what am I looking for here, man? I'm... Nice old ass phone. Alright. Now the chopper's about to get webbed, right? Uh oh. All right, I'm looking. I'm looking. What, am I missing something here? Oh no! 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 Oh my god. Oh, you fucking son of a bitch. You, you you son of a bitch. You know, I should have not you know, I'm I'm done, dude. I'm fucking done with this fucking show. All right? I'm out here trying to, you know, give you guys a true capitalist radio show, and all I have is a bunch of troll terrorists talking shit. And especially on 9-11, you macabre pricks! On 9-11? Jesus Christ. And uh, Turkey Taters, how far was the Democrat playbook shoved up your ass that you turned liberal? I'm not a liberal, you fucking jerk-off. And what's going on to Denominator, I will get to all your videos, Denominator, on the next ghost show, which, I don't know, after this show, it may be Sunday, I don't know. I'm going to try to do it Friday, but... It may be Sunday. I have no idea. All right? You people are pissing me the fuck off. I can tell you that right goddamn now. Uh, we got uh, TCR equals Mickey Mouse operation. God bless Al-Qaeda for gifting us the hilarious 9-11. <laughs> I'm not fucking... I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying that. 
Uh, drunk Aussie, an American walks into an Irish pub. He asks the bartender for an Irish car bomb. The bartender grimaces, excuse me? The man smiles. It's a drink. You don't have those? Irish car bombs? The bartender lights up and replies, oh, I have something similar. One moment. He takes. Uh, he then takes two tall shot glasses side by side, fills them up with vodka, and lights them aflame just for you. The American frowns. What the hell is this? I call it the 9-11. <sighs> I'm sorry, folks. I, I'm really, really sorry. Uh, Mad Thad in the house. I've been uh, I've been to about five Trump rallies since 2020. People leave early to beat the traffic. Oh, is that why you're coping? Is that what you're coping now? Come on, Mad Thad. Nobody is going to stand around for hours to leave after 20 minutes. I always stay until he leaves, and it's hell getting out of whatever makeshift parking lot they have set up. Also, knee, uh, also, see how Kamala dances around the black question. She will not state if she's a black woman. Haitians ate Templeton. There you go. See, that, that, thanks a lot, Mad Thad, all right? Yeah, w way to, you know, kind of p pour salt in the wound there. And uh, Five Finger Prostate Punch said 9-11 uh, equals dying. Sh Look, I've had enough of this crap, all right? You people are just pissed. Y'all are coping because I'm telling the truth, all right? You people are coping because I'm telling the truth. And, you know, since Trump was talking about Venezuela, all right, and this is right after his ex-advisor has been charged in this whole Russia <laughs> scheme, for Christ's for sake. How does an <laughs> farmer find his goat in the sand dunes? Very satisfying. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, dude, look, I'm getting tired of this. All right, I'm really getting fucking tired of this crap. All right. I deserve more respect than what the fuck you people are giving me, man. Enough of the damn text-to-speech crap. Enough! I'm over here giving you guys a damn show. I'm, I was thinking about giving you guys a damn ghost show on fucking Friday. You can kiss that shit goodbye. Jesus Christ. Anyway, once again, uh, Trump being pro-Russia even after his ex-advisor is charged in a Russia scheme. What a shock. Russia appears to have launched an initial major counterattack against Ukraine in Kursk. All right. So now I'd buy that for a dollar. Fucking snakes. What do Tehran and Hiroshima have in common? Nothing yet. Oh, Jesus Christ. You know, what? I, I need to smoke, folks. All right, I got to smoke some tobacco. All right. I'm doing me right now. I'm sorry. I, I mean, I can only take so much of this crap. Especially you macabre people uh, doing this text-to-speech shit about the fucking tragedy of 9-11. I mean, how the fuck can you people sleep at night, huh? Jesus Christ. Anyway, I'm smoking tobacco, folks, all right? And uh, once again, I scored this tobacco from a Mexican kid that sells candy apples on the corner. I'd buy that for a dollar. What is it, Nambla? Thank the United States of America for protecting us and the gays performing sex acts in public. Two oh, Towers was Jesus definitely Christ. worth it. Are you fucking kidding? Are you guys fucking I'd kidding me, man? Question! Are we going to talk about the debate from last night? I'm, dude, shut up, all right? You're saying that to piss me off. I've already gone over the debate. I've already gone over that shit. Barry Stanton. When will you get to the hate segment of the broadcast? Oh, Talk God. about why they are stinky and women on the street. Dude, I'm sorry. Also we're... getting dysentery from their food since Hygiene is non-existent. What? Who in the loo? Dude, why are y'all fucking doing this, man? I mean, I want to have a serious conversation about... You know, politics here. I already went over the damn debate. I'm talking about Russia now, and you people continue to call me AIDS burger. Like, what the fuck, man? Don't call me AIDS burger, man! Jesus Christ. Look, please excuse me, all right? Uh, oh, fuck, fuck a Mr. Nguyen. What? G.I., your country have abandoned you, G.I. G.I. Jesus the Great Christ. Dimensional Merge arrived G.I. Wear the Vietnam Medallion G.I. Defeat Trump with Vietnam G.I. Can you shut up, Mr. Nguyen? 9-11 Memorial to destroy AIDS burger once and for all G.I. God, you fucking we piece go of shit. G.I. For men. Don't call me AIDS burger! <laughs> I'd buy Christ! What do you call him? Owns a camel and a goat. Bisexual. 
Oh, my God. A camel and a goat by... Dude, fucking... Can y'all fuck off, please, all right? Seriously, can, can you all just piss off, please? I mean, for fuck's sake. I mean, you rose-butted asshole having used condom-sucking, sphincter-fingering, enema-bag-cleaning, cuckold connoisseur pieces of shit. Fuck off! I'm going to take a smoke. Please excuse the shit out of me. I'm doing me right now. I'm smoking tobacco that I got from a Mexican kid that sells candy apples on the corner, all right? Give me a smoke. Jesus Christ. Please excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm taking a smoke here. <laughs> That's it. Got to hold it in. Let it hit the brain, all right? Now I'm going to get back to... I'm going to get back to my fucking news in a minute, but I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of troll terrorists and cyber vermin in the text-to-speech, which I don't really appreciate. All right? I don't appreciate one bit, so I'm trying to smoke some tobacco to take the fucking edge off, for Christ's sake. And by the way, I'm being raided over there in Kick. What's going on to the raiders in Kick? You want to know what everybody in the chat room is doing? Raiders from Kick, you want to know what they're doing? They're doing this. All right, that's what they're doing. So I hope you enjoy yourselves, all right? And disregard the fuckers that are calling me AIDS burger, all right? Don't call me AIDS burger. Anyway, once again, Russia appears to have launched an initial major counterattack against Ukraine in Kursk. So let's see if that is going to yield anything effective. And let's see when Blinken finally meets with uh, Zelensky that he allows Zelensky to use long-range missiles on these Ruskies, all right? Let's see. Let's see what happens, all right? <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. What? Why were the Twin Towers upset? I'd buy that Cause for they a ordered dollar. a pepperoni pizza, and all they got was a plane. Uh, can y'all stoop? Can y'all fuck off with those stupid fucking jokes, please, for Christ's sake? Anyway, with that being said, let's talk a little bit more about Russia. Because they're in dire straits right now. Remember, they're reliant. They're relying a lot on China. All right, and if it isn't that... <laughs> I'd buy that for oh, a Oh, Jesus Christ. What is it, Mr. Nguyen? man. Your country no love you, Brack man. It very good idea to leave a sinking ship GI. Vietnam better food. Vietnam better than China. You go Vietnam GI, but you fight? We kill you GI. Oh, Jesus We do to West. I have no we idea what... This is about Total for Christ. V, 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 V. Jesus Christ. Oh, great. President J. The results of your medical exam are in. You unfortunately have AIDS, Mr. Andy Albin. Oh, Coupled Jesus with your Asperger shit. syndrome. You unfortunately have AIDS, Perger, Andy. God damn it, man. Stop calling me AIDS, Burger. All right, that's pissing me off. Stop calling me AIDS Burger! Listen, for all those that are wondering why these idiots continue to call me AIDS Burger is because when I was on the ghost show, they always troll me that I go to some stupid local gay club, which I don't, called the Pegasus, all right? And I told them that I would never go into the Pegasus. Be <laughs> I'd buy that. Oh, Jesus. Keep promoting our burgers. We should be able to open again soon. Our burgers, you turning people trans, we will be able to turn them all possible oh, trans. Fuck you, First dude. First the green revolution, next the goyim. Fuck you. All right, I said the only reason I knew that the Pegasus was a gross club was because I, you know, I, I, I got a burger from this fucking place that was there before the gay clubs, by the way. Luther's Burgers had been there for 60 fucking years. All right? Way before the gay clubs. So I told the trolls that that's why I know about this the, this club. There was, a, and then they looked into Luther's and they found out that I guess they have fucking drag shows there or whatever the fuck. And now they're claiming that I got an AIDS burger from Luther's, and now that's what these fucking idiots are calling me. They're calling me AIDS burger, okay? They're calling me AIDS burger because of this. So let me just give you four one one on that. Anyway, put the PC shot on. Your capitalist waifu, oldie but goodie. Uh, genders are like the Twin Towers. There used to be t two of them, and then the got of... All right, I'm not, I'm not fucking saying that, all right? 
And we've got denominator. Okay, here's what has appeared in my head on the log. I had a dream when you were on Earth's core and you were a, on a very strange, uncanny path to nowhere. And so I traveled the path further and further. It was very unclear, but it seemed to get worse. And the more I traveled, then it all went black. Uh, then a couple of seconds I saw something I should not have even seen. I saw redacted. Uh, then I passed the first dimension uh, level of the world. The further level you go, the more twisted and far from reality everything gets. Came across a fake planetary solar system with all the planets in the same orbit distance without going at any speed and with no sun, yet there was still light from above. I played on the planets while until a dark distance started coming my way, so I had to move. Then I got sucked into somewhere so fast I got thrown into a second dimension. I got put into some house where everything was re was reality bent and all put into some uh, put in the wrong places except for the couches. So I pretend I was dead there for a while while a ubigio was running around the house. It did not kill me because I thought I was dead or it thought I was dead. Then it ran in pivot to lock the doors. Dude, what am I reading here? What am I reading? Put when I look back after I locked, it broke the lock. So I had to bash it to death. I then ascended above the house. And I then saw the house was completely surrounded by the ocean as it was on a small island. And close to it was a volcano five times the size of Olympus Mons. And then I saw a porch on the edge of the island. It flings me so far, so high, it flinched me into the volcano, and I was being flinched for some reason. I was already higher than that volcano, and there was still atmosphere. Then it took two hours to drop me in all the way, and then five hours, I reached the bottom. Then I entered Dimension 3. To be honest, I can't even remember what happened because AI started to gain my conscious back. So I have to end it there. Putin should die due to what he has done amazing uh, to an amazing country. We need a better leader for Russia. Get rid of Putin. All right, the only reason I did that for Denominator is because Denominator, he's, don he's donated a lot here recently. So I would not read that obnoxiously long message. Let's just put it that way, all right? And Trutchman, uh, Ghost is right. The Republicans will lose. As leader faces coup and loyalists turning on the Kremlin. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. No. Dude, listen, Vox, I'm not doing links, okay? I'm not doing... Dude, I'm going to get off this show. I'm, I'm getting off the fucking show, all right? I'm getting off this show. I'm over here trying to do this fucking broadcast, and you stupid, dumb, idiot tards think it's the ghost show, for Christ's sake. This is not the fucking ghost show. Jesus Christ, you fucking people, man. I mean, I'm over here, I'm shooting pearls at you fucking people, man. I'm shooting pearls. I'm trying to spark synapses in the brains of folks. And yet, what do I get? I just get a, nothing but a bunch of fucking troll morons that I wouldn't piss on if you people were on fire fucking trolling me, fucking making macabre jokes about 9-11 and all that shit. And all that shit. So anyway, let me get let me take a smoke here, all right, and then I'm gonna get the fuck out of here, all right, because I, I, nobody gives a shit. It's already 7 p.m. over here anyway. I, you know what? I'm gonna go kick it in the True Capitalist Radio member chat. I had a great time with those people yesterday, viewing the debates. No fucking trolling in there, all right. There's no drama, none of that shit, all right, none of that shit in there. And I appreciate being in there. And let me tell you something, everybody that's in there is is going forward in their lives. You know, we had a few people that went in there that were trolls. You know, that that you know were outward trolls. When they came into the damn chat room, they became productive members of society. They're fucking working. They got a social life now. All right? And that's all I want. That's all anybody wants in the True Capitalist Radio member chat, man. That's all I'm saying, man. That's all I'm saying. I, I just want to separate you fucking trolls from, from the people that want to do something with their lives. I get it. You think that your life is just a pile of crap. I get it. When you look in the mirror, you think that you're looking at a tub of shit. I get it. All right? But let me tell you something. There's folks out there that don't want to be losers like you. 
all right, that don't want to be pathetic piles of human protoplasm like you pieces of shit. So that's all there is to it. Look at the links. They're relevant to the show. I don't want to look at them. I don't want to look at them. Why can't the UK and the USA play chess anymore? Because one lost its queen and the other lost its two towers. Oh, gee. You know what? You fucking guys. I'm telling you. I mean, can y'all just give me a fucking break here for a second? For Christ's sake, man. You guys got to give me a fucking break. Between the AIDS burger and the fucking 9-11 jokes. I mean, come on. Come on. Jesus Christ. Give me a smoke here. I, I can't believe I'm taking all this crap. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh, my God. Fucking. What are you fucking talking about? Hold on. I got I to gotta take a smoke here. And we got Mega Max with a rumble ran. But why are you doing videos when you want something serious? You never want something much serious. What the fuck does that mean? So you're saying that Luther's is the Pegasus origin story from seated buns to seat and buns? <sighs> Y'all fuck off with this AIDS burger shit, man. I'm really getting tired of this crap, man. All right. I'm really getting tired of this crap, man. Don't call me AIDS burger for the fucking thousand goddamn time. Don't call me AIDS burger. Jesus fucking Christ. Give me a fucking smoke. That's it. You gotta hold it in let it hit the brain. I'm sorry. All right. Anyway, I do want to go into the fucking True Capitalist Radio member chat. I had a great time with those folks in there. And, uh, you know, you trolls, y'all are just a bunch of fucking four-flushing, uh, used dental damn licking, piggish power bottom having, dirty Sanchez loving, Cincinnati bow tie receiving, tunt, uh, hunging, blue ball blowing, rose butted asshole having, pieces of dog shit. All right, that's all I got to fucking say about that. And Vox Artificials, the red rose of Tex AIDS. Look, just stop fucking donating to me, all right? I've got, how about that shit? Why don't you people just fuck off? Why don't you just fuck off and leave me alone? And what is this? What, what, what is this crap? What is this fucking garbage? All right, look, these are fucking... I don't, I don't know what the fuck this is. Listen, I, I don't want to do fucking links, dude. Shut the fuck up! And what is this? Arrogant bastard. Damn, it sucks. I missed the show. I'll have to rewatch it. Have a badass night, ghost. Cheers, my dude. Well, thank you, arrogant bastard. I appreciate that, man. And wait a minute. What is it? Your capitalist waifu. Why are you posting copy pasta of what the hell Oddcast said about N word Danny? N word Danny. Why are you doing that? Your capitalist waifu. And look at the people in the chat rooms are saying, end it, AIDS burger. End it, AIDS burger, by the way. Jesus Christ. I deserve more respect. I'm just saying, I deserve more respect if you want my fucking opinion. All right? I was going to do a ghost show this Friday. I think we can fuck that off. We can forget about that shit. Are you kidding me? So I may, wait. I may just wait till Sunday. I have no idea. I'm not, I'm not even joking. Give me a smoke. <coughs> That's it. Got to hold it in, let it hit the brain, all right? <coughs> hold it in, let it hit the brain. All right, I was talking about Vladimir Putin, you know, how, you know, things are not going his way, you know, all that stuff. Let's go ahead and move on to something else, I guess, because... I mean, I, I don't know. Whatever. Now, we I talked about last week, uh, we had... The under the deputy secretary of the secretary of state office go and visit the Chinese and particularly Xi Jinping in order to mend fences, and it didn't really look like anything yielded from that. I'd so, buy that for a dollar. Denominator, please do it, dude. I'm not doing it Saturday. Are you fucking kidding me? Absolutely, a hundred percent not. Denominator, I will not do a Saturday show. I love Saturdays. I, it's it's combat sports, it's boxing, and it's my day off. I do nothing on Saturday at all except for grill steaks or, you know, smoked meats, 
You know what I mean? And, and hang out with uh, my friends and my family. All right? That's what I like to do. And Five Finger Prostate Punch, a show closed due to AIDS. And uh, Vox Art officials check links AIDS. Br- I don't want to check the fucking links. All right? I don't want to fucking check. I don't want to fucking check shit. I'll check it when I do a ghost show. Any- oh, God. Why did Jeffrey Epstein kill himself? Because he had low self Epstein. Low self Epstein? Jesus Christ. I, look, look I'm, I'm getting out of here, dude. I, I'm out of here. All right, you people are just... I, I'm not playing this game with you, Vox. You're a fucking tarred. This is not the ghost show. And may, many of you people are thinking this is the fucking ghost show, and I, I, I'm not doing, I'm not I doing this shit. For a dollar. Oh, he means Friday, brain fart. Yeah, I'll do it Friday. I'll do it Friday then, Denominator, all right? Because I certainly do not want to sit here and continue to fucking uh, you know, pander to these tards on this show, all right? I'm not doing fucking links. All right, I'm not doing links. This is not the fucking ghost show, you stupid fucking morons! And Eddie, three, two, four, seven, five, eight. Hey, Dad, sorry I'm late. Why are you so upset, Daddy? Chill. Uh, Dude, I don't give a shit. All right? Anyway, I'm out of here. I don't know when I'm going to do another show. All right? I'm going to go kick it in the uh, True Capitalist Radio chat room. All right? Uh, Go to uh, buymeacoffee.com slash ghostpolitics. And join the True Capitalist Radio member chat room, okay? I mean, you would have been able to participate in the exclusive coverage of the debates that yours truly and and everybody in there appreciated and enjoyed. Uh, I I do all those kinds of uh, events. I'm also giving a card a month. Collect them all. All right, the first one is going to be yours truly, which I'm going to mail out here in about a week or so to all the members. Every member gets a free trading card every month. All right, so a lot of lot of lot of good stuff going on in the True Capitals Radio chat room, uh, and plus, uh, we, there's no trolling. There's no trolling in there. All right, there's no trolling. There's no internet drama. There's none of that garbage. It's pure serious conversation. It's pure people trying to support each other in hopes of getting themselves better the next day, or the next week, or the next month, or the next year. You know what I'm saying? Hey, wait a minute. Five Finger Prostate Punch, stop being a big cheesy lump. Dude, I, 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 I'd like to do the ghost show the way... Or excuse me. I like to do the true capitalist radio show the way I like to do it. I don't like fucking sitting here and thinking that you people can fucking throw shit at me and I'm supposed to just jump and do what you're telling... No, this is not the ghost show. So instead of fucking sitting here and playing games with you tards... I'm going to exit stage left and get the fuck out of here, all right? And Purple Juice 38, hey, ghost, I'm just chilling and still in the area of Hurricane Francine. Well, bunker down, man. Cheers, dude, all right? And Vox Art Officials, TCR paywall chat equals ghost AIDS exchange. Yeah, real funny. All right, anyway, I'm out of here, all right? I'm going to be in the True Capitalist radio chat room here in about 20 minutes. I'm getting out of here. Fuck all you people, seriously. I'm over here trying to give you guys, like, I'm, I'm sparking synapses. I'm trying to, you know, provide substance on this show. And all you people want to do is put about three or four fingers in your shit funnel, gyrate it counterclockwise, and be a bunch of troll terrorist scumbag, four flushing piles of human protoplasm that should be flushed down a goddamn dirty diarrhea fucking shit bowl. All right? I'm out of here! The fuck out of here with these fucking.